Hello, my name is Thorsten Lang. I'm a Reiki master, founder and director of the Reiki Academy London and author of the Hey House book on Reiki. And I'm thrilled to be invited by Alternatives to run a five-day retreat for them. Now, this retreat is about Reiki, of course, but it is about going deeper with Reiki. So Reiki, of course, is a complementary therapy. And we feel something in our hands when we're tuned. And we can put our hands, our healing hands, to the most exquisite use. We get tremendous results. But there is more to Reiki. Reiki is also a spiritual discipline. Reiki is a lifestyle. This retreat explores the depth of Reiki. I called it living the light because Reiki is all about the light. This is how it started. The founder of Reiki, Mikao Sui, after lots of difficulties in his life, went to Mount Kurama for 21 days to fast and to meditate. And as a result, he experienced a Satori, a moment of enlightenment. And he subsequently designed Reiki as a healing art. And for the last about 100 years, Reiki was mainly taught as such, as a complementary therapy with additional meditative and indeed life-changing effects. But how does Reiki work? Reiki works through the light. Reiki is all about the light. And at this retreat, we will together explore what that really means. Opening up to the light and living the light. And I'm sure there will for everybody be many moments of Satori, of a deep understanding, of deep healing, and of indeed feeling the light within. I did a lot of research in Japan. And we will be using all the original techniques that Mikao Usui designed for the system of Reiki. Meditation, breathing, energy exercises, of course, palm healing, many moments of deep healing, all of them designed to raise our vibrations, to clear our blockages. We will deal with past issues, we will deal with difficulties in our lives, and we will allow the light to permeate all these difficulties to raise our vibrations to love and light and experience it. There will be moments of oneness, of complete connectedness with yourself, with other people, with nature, with the entire universe. This is what Reiki really can do. And I'm sure you will find that the levels of vibrations we can open up to are surreal because they really transcend our reality here and they help us to live in a different realm, in a deeper truth. Mikao Usui had this moment of enlightenment on Mount Kurama and incidentally the monastery of Montserrat is based on a mountain as well. It is a beautiful place surrounded by breathtaking nature, incredible views, and they will help us to slightly retreat from the world. This is why so many spiritual seekers go on a mountain. They help us to meditate. It's a very energetic place and we can really connect with this and open up to the vibration of Earth, of the universe. Montserrat has been a destination for spiritual seekers for over a thousand years. And this retreat places itself in this amazing tradition. But we won't stay there. No, you don't have to spend the rest of your life in a monastery. That's not the idea. The idea is to relax, to rejuvenate, to open up to this incredible vibrational level that Reiki can get us to. to bringing the light and love into our lives and then to go recharged back to our normal life. 
because Reiki is designed for normal life. Reiki is designed for everyday life. Mikao Usui didn't stay on Mount Kurama. He decided to go straight into the epicenter of Tokyo and that's where he taught Reiki. So allow this time for yourself to connect with your true self. I'm sure you will look back to this retreat at some stage and realize this was a big step on your personal spiritual development. And you may indeed feel this was life-changing. I'm absolutely certain you will all have moments of enlightenment, moments of Satori, and I'm really looking forward to spending these amazing five days together.